Welcome in everyone. It's been a while since I've been back here. We had our high school football digital show. Now it's time for some high school basketball, the 48 Hoop Show. It's our first one. I'm going to do something special this year. Every episode, I'm going to talk to a head coach of one of the North Alabama teams. First one up, I got to sit down with head coach Jamie Coggins. He's been the head coach since 2012 of the Sparkman Senators. They're having a great season so far, 18 and 6. Overall, one and two in region play. So I got to sit down with the head honcho and see how he does it. So first, let's kind of take it back to the Huntsville Classic. What impressed you the hey. most about your team during this tournament? Well, I, I just liked the way the guys really came together. Uh, the chemistry was really great during that tournament. And, uh, you know, we had uh, great game plans, I thought. And the guys really executed those game plans, carried out that execution. And, uh, you know, it was one of the best moments of the season where our guys really played well together. And kind of, you know, obviously back to back championship titles for you guys. What and this means a lot, especially with the type of talent that this um, classic showcases. What does this say about your program, Sparkman basketball as a whole? Well, it just says a lot about our guys, uh, the hard work that they put into what we do day in and day out. And uh, I have to give them the credit. They're the guys that really show up. Uh, they work hard every day. They try to do things the right way off the court and on the court. And it all came together during that Huntsville Times tournament. And uh, to do it back to back says a lot about the program the consistency of what we do year in, year out, and then the guys that we have and what they do. So you also told me after one of the wins, we had a chance to talk and you said you love celebrating with your guys, you know, them grabbing your head and just kind of joking around. Can you kind of touch on the relationship that you have with your players and what it means to you to have that bond with them? Well, you know, one of the, I think one of the, the biggest uh, things in, in high school basketball is having good rapport with your kids. And uh, I really, uh, you know, people will ask me, like, what is the most important thing that you take away from coaching high school basketball? And I always tell them it's the relationships that I have formed over the years. You know, it's great to win. It's great to win tournaments and championships. But the most important thing is having that relationship with my kids and that means a lot to me when they come back and they share stories with me, like when they get married, they have kids, you know, those types of things mean more to me than anything. Just them showing up at one of our games and I haven't seen them in five, six, seven years and they show up, that means a lot to me. So that relationship uh, continues to build over time and, uh, we take a lot of pride in that as a coaching staff. So kind of going off that, you have a lot of seniors on your team. Have you started to get sentimental at all with that group of guys? Or what's that kind of been like this year? Well, I, I don't think we have time for, for sentimentality right now. <laughs> you know, we just, we're continuing to grind every day, work hard. And uh, it's like I told them the other night, you know, we lost a couple of games. And I said, everybody goes through these types of things. We just got to pick ourselves up off the floor and get back to work. So, you know, we're just trying to finish the season strong, uh, put ourselves in position where we're ready for the postseason. So that's kind of what we're striving for right now. And I told him the other day, we're less than three weeks away of the regular season ending and postseason starting. So it hasn't really sunk in yet. But I know down the road it will. And, uh, you know, our 10 seniors have done a great job. And definitely down the road, you know, that will that will come to mind. So you mentioned a couple losses. So a big win against Hazel Green this past week. What did that win kind of mean for your program after coming off to back-to-back -back losses? Well, I just felt like we needed to, to play well, number one. And then somehow find a way to get back into the win column, uh, get our confidence back up. And, uh, you know, we have struggled at, at home this year, which is really rare for us. But, you know, we've been a great road team, neutral site team. 
but we have struggled at home. And, uh, you know, we've tried to pinpoint that. We've tried to do things differently uh, in our lead up to, to the game that day and uh, just trying to improve in that area. And uh, Tuesday night was a good win. I thought we guarded well. Uh, we held Hazel Green to 32 points. And, uh, you know, we really shared the ball uh, in that game, did a better job of that and playing together. And uh, it was a, a good win for us. So you mentioned playing well on the road. You have a big road opponent coming up in Grissom. What are some key takeaways that you're really telling your guys, not only in this matchup, but to finish the regular season strong? Well, we're just, we're, all year long, we've hung our hat on defense. Uh, that has become our identity. And, uh, you know, this past weekend, our two losses, Friday and Saturday, we didn't guard as well as we've been guarding. So trying to get back to that and trying to emphasize, hey, that's what we do. We do it well. We have to guard better. Uh, we have to rebound better. Uh, and then on the offensive end, we just got to play a little bit better together. And so just emphasizing those things and trying to improve and get better for this stretch run. And then, you know, I know we haven't hit the end of the road yet, but for your seniors, what's kind of the message that you want to send them as they start to prepare for this transition to the next chapter? Well, I just want them to give everything they have. You know, basketball, like other team sports, uh, present a lot of life lessons. And, uh, you know, even in a game, you get down, the other team makes a run. And uh, we always tell our guys, you know, it's never over with until the final horn sounds and give everything you got. So it's one of those things where we want our guys, give us all you got, give us our, your best effort. So in all your years of being a coach, how much have you seen the sport of basketball grow here in North Alabama? Well, just by leaps and bounds. I mean, if you look at this area of Alabama, I, I, I really believe this is the best basketball area. Uh, you know, Huntsville, Madison County, this area of North Alabama, uh, the, the fans, the people are so knowledgeable about the game and they love great basketball. Uh, the Huntsville Times is the best tournament in the state and one of the best in the Southeast. And uh, it just means a lot to a lot of people here. And night in and night out, if you don't bring your A game, uh, you're going to struggle and uh, you're going to get beat. So it means a lot to a lot of people. One thing I really appreciate about Coach Coggins and something you probably picked up on in that interview and some of the videos is that he really has a lot of love for his players and that's something that helps them be so successful out there on the court. All right, I said this earlier, I'm going to be doing this every Wednesday, so be sure you tune in. It'll be a different head coach, different team, and we'll carry you all the way to the playoffs. For now, I'm your host, Georgia Chambers. We'll see you next time.